Canada Dry, the champagne of ginger ale. Canada Dry is now available in the large as well as the regular size bottle for the home and made to order by the glass of pump. This program stars Jack Benny, the Canada Dry humorist, and Ted Weems Orchestra. Ted Weems opens the program with Roll Up the Carpet. <laughs> Red light and are drowned. 
Mark Three Chinatown, war news. Two Japanese spies found hiding in the uh, Duke of Chop Suey, disguised as mushrooms. Darn clever, these Japs. Delhi, India. Big blaze starts in business section of Delhi, burning down several Delhi capacity stores. <laughs> That's local, very local, actually. Bombay, Bombay, India. Mahatma Gandhi puts on a suit of clothes and is mistaken for Kid Crawford. Erie, Pennsylvania. Eclipse just arrived here. No other news. <laughs> Glasgow, Scotland. 14 cents collected and big release drive last week. Drive is over and people flocking back to city. Lunch Wagon, Ohio. Circus midget commit suicide in restaurant by jumping off a three-decker sandwich. January 22nd, 1901. Marconi invents wireless. January 22nd, 1933. Marconi hears this program and is sorry he started it. St. <laughs> Paul, Minnesota. Three skaters break through thin ice and almost drowned. Paul, Paul, Minnesota. Minnesota. Oh, oh, I see. You can get a cool drink of Sandy the Dry Ginger Ale at Minnesota Fountain. Oh, uh, oh you think it, Paul. You think it. <laughs> well, we both had a reach for those. Ah, huh? uh, play, Ted, play. After this familiar melody, Bing Crosby sing song, Echo in the Valley. Titled, um, uh, let's see, uh, Mary, just off the title. Uh, oh, here it is. The name of the play is Bertha the Sewing Machine Girl. Now, this famous old play with a tear, a laugh, a heart throb, a few hisses, and no doubt your money back. However, <laughs> it was a great success in its day. I might even say as big as Rosie's Irish Race, written by Ann Nichols. Nickel, Paul, nickel. And you get five cents back on each large can of the drive oh, while you couldn't say nickel, could you? Huh? You, say that. you couldn't do that, huh? Now, this play, Burger the Sewing Machine Girl, was a great success in its day, having had such runs as one consecutive night in Perth Amboy, another night at Asbury Park, and then direct to the storehouse where it ran over a year. Uh, the members of the original company have been dead for over 35 years, so we have our own all-star cast this evening, which is as good as the cast in Grand Hotel, we think. Of course, what you think is entirely up to you. Uh, we have rehearsed faithfully for five minutes and will present it to you immediately without the customary break in out of town. Now, uh, here are some of the original criticisms when the play had its premiere in 1890. Uh, Walter Winston's father. Bertha, Bertha the Sewing Machine Girl is as fine a play as I've ever looked over a transom at. <laughs> Ankle over and see it. Ed Sullivan, Sr., Bertha the Sewing Machine Girl will have you in stitches. That wasn't bad. I thought of that myself. George G. Nathan, I saw the play, and as they say in church, he is. So now... So now, uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, we are reviving this play tonight for your pleasure. Remember the title, Bertha the Sewing Machine Girl. And meanwhile, Ted Reeves and his boys will play 12th Street Rag, which is very appropriate.